is it so difficult to accept people's differences? We got the perfect example last week when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had an interview with Oprah and they shared more details about the difficulties that the royal family or royal institution had to accept Meghan. Let's take a look. In those months when I was pregnant, all around this same time, so we have in tandem the conversation of he won't be given security, he's not going to be given a title, and also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. How can we tolerate and accept people's differences? During uncertain and stressful times, it seems even more difficult to get along with each other. Even though everyone is unique and different, we all share the same basic needs to belong and to connect with others. According to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, after our basic needs for food, water and safety are met, our psychological needs are to belong and to be loved. So the need for belonging includes being accepted and being part of a group that may be at home, at school, work, or in our neighborhood. So why is it that sometimes we are able to tolerate someone who is very different, but we are not able to accept the person? So let's take a look at what's the difference between tolerance and acceptance. Tolerance is when we agree that people from a different culture, religion, race, or sexual orientation may coexist with our own attitudes and beliefs. We tolerate others when we say hi, but do not willingly interact with the person. We leave the person alone, hoping that she will leave us alone also. Acceptance is when we think it is okay for others to be the way they are. When we accept other people, we recognize that they have their own beliefs, preferences, feelings, and values without judging or criticizing them. It is when we welcome others by interacting without trying to change them. What are the benefits of accepting people's differences? Interacting with people who are different allows us to better understand our own values and beliefs. In addition, when comparing and contrasting our life experience with the life of others, we get a better understanding of how similar our needs are. Despite our outside circumstances, opinions, or appearance, we all want to be loved and feel like we belong. After this psychological need is met, we continue climbing Maslow's pyramid to get more of our needs met. Three easy tips to accept people's differences. The easiest way to accept people's differences is by focusing on what we have in common. Regardless of our race, sexual orientation, or culture, we want to be understood, respected, and appreciated. 1. Don't take it personally. It is easy to get upset with the words or actions of other people because we assume that their behavior is directed to us. However, most people have a pattern of behavior, such as being nice, considerate, rude, or aggressive, regardless of the circumstances. If you know some people who are disrespectful, unknowing, or critical, their behavior is more an expression of themselves than of you. In order to accept people's differences, we need to take a step back and observe the big picture of what is happening. I had plenty of practice with this skill when I started working as a special education teacher. My students would curse, yell, rip papers, and flip desks when I asked them to complete an assignment. Instead of scolding them for inappropriate behavior, I would try to find out what triggered those intense feelings. It was always something that happened at home, during recess, or a thought that came into their minds. The inappropriate behavior was not related to me or the assignment, but to the students' behavior patterns. I have been using the same tip in my personal life. When people overreact, it is mostly because of something that happened to them before. Try it next time you find it difficult to tolerate or accept another person's behavior. Don't take it personally. 2. Assume the best intentions. When we assume that the other person has the best intentions, we are more open to ask questions and communicate. In addition, the more we learn about the situation, the better we will be able to accept the other person's differences. For example, if a coworker is late to work or to a meeting, 
assume that the person did everything he or she could to be there on time. Probably an unexpected event happened that prevented him or her to get to the meeting on time. Keeping an open mind about the other person's best intention will help to better understand and share the feelings of others. 3. Take care of yourself. It is easier to accept people's differences once our basic needs are met and we are in a good mood. If we are hungry and did not sleep well, we will feel irritable and unable to connect with others. On the other hand, if we feel good about ourselves, we will be able to understand others from a more compassionate point of view. When we are in a good mood, we may even feel sympathy and concern for what happens to other people who are different. So what can you do? to be more accepting of each other's differences. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you get notified the next time I upload a video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.